Hello everyone, my name is Jaybird, and so today I'm going to tell you guys, show you a little bit on how to build things that look interesting, how to use shape language, how to use circles, how to use a block palette, and then also different types of builds such as fantasy, modern, and historical, and I sincerely hope that this will help you. If it does, that would be great. If it ends up helping you a lot, then leave a like on the video, please. One of the, 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 the main things when it comes to shape language, okay? And I'm going to be using these basalt cobble skulls because that's what I, I happen to have, is people will build and they'll have just like three walls, or three walls, they'll have four walls. I'm just rambling. Let me just make the, the box quick, hang on. One thing that will help you to fix this, and obviously if you have a really big square house, you don't want to have just one triangle roof because that'll go up as about as high, if not more, maybe twice as high as what your house itself will be. So if I made this house, eh, flying is so weird in this game. Um, if I made this roof um, go up without using chiseling or any fancy, fancy work like that, you see that this goes up one, two, three, four blocks, and this goes up one, two, three blocks. So if this is the roof, the roof is actually one block higher than what this is. And obviously this is still small enough that it'll probably look fine. At the same time, it, it's one of those things where if you just make roofs like this on big boxes, it's, it's not gonna look good. So you need to plan out your roofs, make them look different and break up the shape of your boxes. It's not to say you can't have boxes, it's just have something coming off the side of your boxes and add depth to it. I'll give you an example here. We're gonna leave the, the roof like that. In fact, I'm going to just uh, mirror it on the side over here. And that way we can just have something to work with there. You're going to want to either not add an extension, knock away, or you're going to, actually that's it. Either you add or you knock away. <laughs> it's either you carve or you add onto it. So if instead of just having this box, which, you know, that already looks, it looks fine. What if instead I added an extra bit over here? So I went like that and then I brought this out a little bit this way and I add some shape there and now this is looking a little bit more interesting this this just adding that little extra bit will help quite a bit uh, maybe I'll make this just a little bit more even rather than having it a little bit odd it's there's like symmetry and asymmetry and asymmetry is not always as bad as what people um, end up making it out to be but say I've got that there um, and say I come over here and let me just fix it up see this is just me being a little bit probably too um, picky on how I do this uh, but now I, I've got an extra little room that I could keep you know um, some pottery or chests or whatnot in and then I've got a main room where I can keep most of my things and I've also got a little bit more of an interesting shape. Now, adding interesting shape by itself is not going to help any. Um, ugh, not gonna help any. It's gonna help quite a lot, but it's gonna be most noticeable when you add a palette of color to it. Uh, but before we get off the topic of shapes and onto the topic of color palettes, I wanna just show you guys a little bit of, you know, how circles work. So I recommend you can find some really, really cool circle guides and stuff um, online just for pixel art and they're, they're really helpful so if I, this would be the the most basic circle you can make in vintage story that is the smallest without chiseling probably that you can make a circle except there are if i go to decorative i guess there are some of these here we go these um the smallest ones would be like that that is the the smallest circle you get in this game but if we're just going in a, in a block sense of like blocks this one will be and then this over here will be the next level after that take away the corners that technically counts as a circle and then you'll notice like you can add onto this so if i make this three right like that and i add one in the middle there and I get rid of this. Now this technically, I know it's, it's, it's a very strange circle, 
but it is still technically a circle. And then you can start adding things like this and it becomes a little bit more circly the more you add onto it. Um, and now we've got a circle-ish over there. And then an example of a much bigger circle, I'm not gonna make a massive circle, but it would be something like if I went one, two, three, four, I would go one, two, one, one, two, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, one, one, two, um, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, one, two. And now I have a circle. So, so long as you take, if I get rid of that there, one, two, and one, two, if I mirror this all the way around, if I make, uh, then yeah, you end up getting a nice circle. So that's not too difficult to make. Circles aren't actually as difficult as what they seem. So now that I've got circles out of the way, palettes, let's go and find something decorative. So we've got construction, terrain, and decorative. So let's go to construction first, because that's for building. And then decorative is more um, extra little things that you can add on in this tab. So let's say I'm going to go for some more color here. Let's go for something a little bit Something that's going to add to this. This is a very light color. So I want to go for a more dark wood. And I want to make frames. So normally with a build. You should technically start with frames. Unless you're trying to get shape. If you're trying to get a good shape that looks nice. Then definitely just ignore the frames. And you know make your shape experiment. There's no way right or wrong way of going around building. So I'm going to go with this redwood log. Because I think it's got a nice dark look to it. And I'm just going to replace the corners here with some of that and already there's this nice contrast here between the two um, I might put it over there later and then one two three one two one there we go and I'm just saying numbers now because I'm getting into the groove of talking so already just look here just adding having this extra darker bit here makes this house look so much better um, and I'm going to go now to decorative and I'm going to now you get these slanted roofs. You can also chisel blocks to be, you know, roofing. So the bamboo roofing or any sort of roofing in this game um, is um, definitely it looks a lot better. It's a lot more helpful. You can also use stairs. So if I just go to everything and I go stair and I find a stair that I like something that's going to be not quite this um, granite and not quite to the red wood over there. Something with a bit of color, maybe. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to try out this uh, bauxite and I'm going to try out the andesite. Let's start with the wood. Uh, yeah, it's basically placed on the bottom. It's right way up, placed on the top. It's not. Okay, that's one way that it could look. There's the blue. Oh, there's some lag. There's the blue. And then there's this um, white over here. And then we've got the red. So I'm actually not liking the white so much i don't think it goes very well with this over here it contrasts too much it's not an in-between color linking the two together the red looks very nice with this and the blue gives a little bit of a, a colder a colder color to it so i think these two colors are going to be the best ones to use in this build i'm going to go with the red just because it stands out a little bit more all right vintage story doesn't have these i don't think they have Oh, dang it. They don't have the stairs that go all the way around. Well, that is unfortunate. But it won't make this impossible because if you get a chisel, I believe you can add it on. So let's see. And then F will go with that size. And I do that. Yep, there we go. So if you have a chisel, you can cheat the system. It's very nice. Um, so you will have a, a little bit of a line over there. But you can... Uh, it, it's an interesting thing. If you make slabs, right, you can still add on to the slabs. Okay, so you can already see we've gone from, and I'll show you this clip from earlier in the video. We went from this, and now we're at this. So because of the, the little bit of depth that this has now, um, it looks a whole lot better. Now, I have a chisel in my hand here, um, as you guys can see. And what I'm going to do with that chisel is I'm going to add more depth. So you don't have to use a chisel you can also just make slabs um, especially if you only need half the block um, depending on what you need so you can either chisel out different shapes and little dents so if I just right click this over here um, then I could 
just knock out like that. And I can make myself a little doorway indent type thing. And this adds quite a lot to it already. I have a chiseling video um, that goes more in depth into chiseling itself. So I'm going to assume you guys know how to chisel. Now I've got even more detail in here. So I can go ahead and I can do that to the rest of the build, but I do believe you have an idea. Now there's one issue and that is obviously if you look at this, it's pretty flat. It's very, in fact, the further away from this I get, at this point, you wouldn't even know that there is any detail on that thing whatsoever. That looks very, very flat. Obviously, when I get closer, it becomes a little bit more obvious. And when you get here, you're kind of like, huh, something's different. And then you see a shadow. So there is a way to fix that. Use a color similar to this one, but not the same. So if I put these next to each other, you'll see that while they do look very close to each other and they, they blend pretty well together, there is a little bit of uh, block blending going on there, it seems. You can see that these blocks just... Um, oh, there we go. Like this, these two have more contrast. Uh, these two have quite a bit of contrast. These two are very similar to each other. So I wouldn't use too much contrast. I wouldn't use that one. I would use these two. So if I'm going to put these um, in there, I need to, I've got the granite. I need to put some firelight in there now. So I need to break that and place that there. And I'll break that one there. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dot this around a little bit, a little bit randomly. Um, and all it's gonna do, whoop, some lag. All it's gonna do is it's gonna add little, little bits of interest into my build. And I would do this, definitely do this before you start your chiseling. Um, don't do what I did and where I, I chiseled first. I was just kind of going with an example, going with the flow of what um, I was talking about. From a distance, you may not notice it too much, but it isn't as solid of a color anymore. It, you can see where it was. It's less flat. Um, just from doing that. So uh, I'm just gonna put this in a little bit more. And it's especially, especially helpful when you have a very big flat wall like this and you need to um, change things up a little bit. The last thing that I have to talk about is theme. But when it comes to building certain things, so if you're building, I'm gonna be talking about fantasy, modern and historical, what's the difference between them? So fantasy drawing, is or oh, drawing <laughs> sorry fantasy building is when you're building something that doesn't exist in real life it you came up with it it's in your imagination it's 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 in your it, it, it's in your noggin um, and what you do is you um build that in the game so it doesn't exist in real life um you came up with it someone else came up with it in a concept but it doesn't exist in real life it can be anything it can be if it's sci-fi it, it would technically fall under fantasy not medieval fantasy but definitely fantasy and then you've got your modern modern is going to be something that's a little bit different so when you do modern everything's a lot more blocky everything's a lot more uh, square which actually makes it a very easy style to do in a sense does require a little bit of practice, but it's a little bit easier than adding all of the, the shape that we have to add here. We have to add in triangles, we have to add in, um, you know, just a whole lot of texturing, whereas modern goes for a much more clean look to it that, you know, you just, you don't, you, you can't really use it uh, in this more, I suppose this style over here would be more medieval. When it comes to historical, that is pretty much speaks for itself historical is where you make something based on something that's already been made at any point in history generally it's older things but it would technically be anything um so a quick you know a uh, little a little tip is for when you make modern i'm typing the wrong thing in but when you're doing modern stuff generally the modern stuff is offset blocks so you'll be making say this is a this is a block that a block thing that I'm making over here um, and I've just got this this big square I will be back when my square is done so there I've got a block right now one of the main things is there's a lot of glass in modern um, so if I knock out generally I'll knock out two sides if I'm gonna do a modern build or a simple one there are people who are much better at modern than me I generally generally don't do it but you can see by doing this, it already looks really good. 
and then often um, you also kind of you add an overlapping thing in the corner or on the top or over one of the normally over one of the edges and it doesn't have to um, you know be um, the same size as what that one is it can be completely different it can even connect to a separate place um, on this side over here and then normally you'll knock away the walls um, on the side there unless you want to keep the the two rooms separate but normally these are pretty open plan anyways so you'll have a lot more um oh there's already my other builds over there um if you guys want to see i'll show you the fantastical build that i did there actually it's that'll be easier for me than just building a, a brand new one um i am currently pretty brutally ignoring um the roof over there but pretend there's a roof um and then you'll have something like uh it'll look a lot more like this so you can experiment with it you can have fun with it so long as it's just generally squares um then it just makes it it makes it fine um and you can have your different openings uh wherever you want i probably have openings on the sides where um there isn't as much glass and yeah so that is mostly the modern except often uh, or a common a common thing to see in the architecture for modern styles just to to break it sort of break it up is you'll have this um where you'll have this thing that comes up and over like this seemingly i mean it doesn't serve a purpose except for you know being aesthetic and kind of breaking up um all of the white so uh the weather just got terrible and these will generally be solid as well but they kind of look like they're going through um through the build even if they're you know if they're not and they'll go up and they wrap around so just a general rule from what i've seen is that this is how modern works so um if you're wanting to do more of a modern style or you you just you don't feel like having um yourself make fantasy or you just you like the blockiness of it you know go for it um there is absolutely nothing wrong with doing a blocky style of building so long as you make it look good by incorporating shape into it if this modern kind of a minimal minimal stuff look is more of your thing definitely go for it um i could put more glass stuff in here but i think you guys you know you have the idea you you're imaginative i hope you better be but this would be an example of more of a fantasy build um so this over here is using uranium blocks and it's got this sort of more of a medieval look but you would not find this in any sort of medieval history books uh whatsoever but uh yeah if you're wondering why all of this is here i'm busy making a texture pack so i kind of just test out all of the different textures um on this which is also why there's so many trees so you can see this is a very this is very rounded it's got little pointy towers and the colors it's like blue roofs and stuff um, this is a lot more fantasy this is a little bit more fairy tale i suppose than like your strict fantasy stuff um but yeah it's more you you know you guys you you've got the idea by now i'm sure for more reference um go look at other buildings in real life and use that also there's a really cool video um that is by this you know not very well known youtuber called Grian um on the subject of shape language and stuff um and he's got a whole lot of tutorials that's how i learned how to build um because you know minecraft originally i'm sure most of you also have kind of translated it from minecraft into this game and so yeah go check that out his videos over there um go support that dude all right see you guys in the next video